Hey guys, it's Melissa. In this video, I am going to give you five different ways that you can print on acrylic. So some of these methods actually include printing directly on the acrylic. Others include transfers. So basically, whether you have a sublimation printer, a UV printer, a DTF printer, there are ways that you can then print on acrylic. So let's talk about them. So we have, obviously, first we have sublimation. So you can sublimate directly on acrylic. This is sub. Whoa, whoa, good thing I have two of them. This is glitter sublimation, uh, or I should say sublimation glitter acrylic. Okay. So I just printed directly on there using, um, my, obviously my laser to cut the acrylic and then my sublimation printer. And in this case, I used my brother sublimation SP one, all of the info for that in the description below, along with a step-by-step -step on how to sublimate on acrylic. Next, um, we have a UV. So whether if you have a UV printer, this one's a little bit difficult to see. If you have a UV printer, you can print directly on the acrylic. So you can put the acrylic in, and that's what I did in this case. I can put the acrylic directly on the flatbed of the UV. In this case, I use the Epson B1070 and printed directly on it. Okay. Um, you're seeing this little tag here. This is actually sublimation hardboard. So this is not acrylic, but came out cute to make it like a little combo, um, bag tag. Okay. So that's number two. This is another option for printing on acrylic. This one is mirror acrylic and I just printed all white came out really, really beautiful. Um, so I just wanted to show you that. Okay. Number three, um, is transfers. So this is an option for printing directly, not directly onto, um, acrylic. So what you do, and again, I have a step-by-step -step on this is you print the transfer on your DTF printer. And then you print or uh, cut the laser, um, cut acrylic to contour cut it, and then you can apply it on there. So I've done these cute little things. I have videos on this as well. This same method also works for wood, okay? All right, so that's three. Number four is if you have a white toner printer. A white toner printer allows you to print transfers. Um, they literally are just print and press. So they, it does print white, obviously it's a white toner printer, but you can apply it to acrylic. This is kind of difficult to see because it's clear here, but I have this one as well, which is also, um, this is just clear acrylic and this looks like stained glass. It has a white toner transfer on the back and it's showing through. I think I have another one here as well. So this is like a little keychain, and I just, in this case, I printed, um, a pattern um, and then applied that. Okay. And then number five, again, not printing directly, but this is a sticker. So this is holographic. This holographic sticker was actually printed on my Roland. So again, I cut the acrylic piece to match with my, um, um, X tool P2, which is the older model. Now it's the X tool P2, blah, 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 X tool P2S or X tool P3, which I will tell you is gigantic. It also is 80 watt instead of uh, 55. All right. So all different options for printing on acrylic. Some are direct, some are indirect using either, like I said, a transfer or a sticker. Sometimes it comes down to what uh, equipment do you have? And sometimes it comes down to the method that you want. So for example, um, if you want something that can go directly onto uh, the acrylic itself, that's going to be permanent, that you're not going to be able to wipe, scrape, pick off, it's going to be really, really durable, then you're going to, going to want something like either sublimation or you are going to want uh, UV because it is not going to come off. This one's kind of hard to see from far away. Where's the other one that I had to show you? Oh, this. Okay, so those um, are the options for that. If you if you don't have that, but you have a sticker printer where you can print and cut, whether that's a Roland, um, like for example, I did this one on a, um, it can be done on a BN2 or a BN or a BN220A or a BN230. Well, that's a mouthful. Or you could even print directly onto holographic um, sticker paper and use like a silhouette and print and cut, okay? So the key here is, depending on what type of material you have, what type of um, equipment you have, there are different ways to customize acrylic. So the key though is if you are going to contour cut your acrylic, like all of these have been, then you do need to have a um, CO2 laser, okay? So whether, uh, if you want to try to cut um, dark colored, dark core uh, acrylic with a diode, you can try it. 
But my advice to you is if you are going to make acrylic a core part of your business, a core part of your offerings, then you really need to have a CO2 laser, okay? It cuts with ease, just here, I mean, here's five right here. This is a piece of acrylic that I cut, obviously still masked, okay? All right, so everything um, that I mentioned, all of the videos or tutorials, written tutorials, for how to do all of these methods is in the description below, along with a supply list, depending on what you are trying to do. All right, guys, see you soon.